Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus NH4OH. This is magnesium chloride and this is ammonium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do when we write the net ionic equation, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two chlorines here and one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium chloride. That balances the chlorines, but now I have two of these ammonium ions and only one here. Let's put a two in front of the ammonium hydroxide. That balances our ammonium ions. Now we have two hydroxides. That's good. We have two over here, a magnesium, magnesium. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states and that'll look like this. So compounds with the chloride ion, they are soluble in general, and compounds with the ammonium ion are almost always soluble. So all of these are aqueous, they're strong electrolytes and they'll dissociate into their ions. But magnesium hydroxide, that's insoluble. So that's gonna be a precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube as our precipitate. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So that's gonna look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. Note that we didn't split this MgOH2, this magnesium hydroxide apart, because it's a solid. So everything else we split up, now we cross out the spectator ions. I can see in the reactants here, we have these two chloride ions. In the products, we also have two chloride ions. These are spectator ions. We're gonna cross those out. Two ammonium ions in the reactants, two in the products, those spectator ions we will cross out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus NH4OH. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for magnesium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. Note that charge is conserved. We have two plus and then two times one minus. So two plus, two minus, that gives us zero. Over here, this is a neutral compound, the net charge is zero. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus NH4OH. Thanks for watching.